So for today, we're gonna to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week one of Lightfall. I am so happy that I can finally say that. So we're gonna be just looking at the seasonal challenges for this one. We're not gonna be looking at anything else because I wanna do Eververse and uh, the season pass and its own videos because there's a lot to share about that. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. This won't be a long video, but let's just get into it. So Righteous Defiance, Complete Defiant, uh, Battleground EDZ. I have not done this as like at all. I literally just completed the first mission to unlock all my stuff. So this one, I mean, it's just the seasonal stuff, so it shouldn't be hard like at all. Awaken Queen's Guard, complete week one of the We Stand Unbroken quest. Again, have not done this, but it's part of the weekly campaign stuff, so should not be hard at all. Legion's Bounty, this says a lot. <laughs> Spend a Defiant key to earn bonus rewards at the end of a Defiant Battlegrounds playlist activity. Defiant, Defiant keys can be earned by completing Lightfall campaign missions, terminal overload in Neomuna raids. Uh, I should overload in Neomuna raids, Vanguard play, Vanguard ops playlist activities, Gambit matches and Crucible matches. So anything you're doing in the game, apparently, um, the only thing that is not here is like <clears throat> the other stuff, which would be literally like, well, playlist act no vanguard playlist activities so that just means anything in vanguard ops uh i guess like the only thing you can't do is the 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 uh space horse i forget what it's called uh dares of eternity i'm guessing that's the one thing you're not going to be able to get to find keys but uh stuff in terminal overload in neo moon I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's an actual activity in Ooh, that's not good okay i'm, I'm thinking about something else so it's pretty cool. Uh, just do Vanguard Gambit or Crucible or Neo Muna stuff or raids. I do wish uh, it dropped like randomly from just doing stuff because uh, sometimes you're in a planet and you're just doing stuff. So that would have been cool. But either way, not hard. I uh, reached rank 12 with Nimbus and Neo Muna. This is going to be this is going to be a grind because Witch Queens. Well, to be fair, Witch Queens wasn't that big of a well, It was if you didn't do the cheese because I did the cheese. Uh, Neptune activities in Neptune complete bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. Cool thing is uh, Nimbus actually does have bounties, and you do actually have a weekly for that, which is really really cool. Uh, key key card operated. Use keys to unlock terminal overload key chests in Neomuna. After completing the quest Stargazer, terminal overload keys can be earned in Neomuna by completing public events, looting chests, and completing patrols. All right, so it gives you a an actual incentive to do stuff in Neo Muna, which is really cool. Taking all challenges, complete weekly playlist challenges. I'm literally going to complete this because I have a bunch of bounties completed. So this one's not going to be hard. Spark Defender. I mean, honestly, just this one should be your playlist act challenges like ever or not ever. <laughs> uh, Crucible, Vanguard, Gambit, stuff like that. And the other stuff. We'll, we'll go to the map and I'll talk to talk about it a little bit more. Uh, Spark Defender, score points and Rift. Bonus progress is rewarded for igniting the Rift. Not hard, just play Rift a bunch. I'm going to be doing this just because I like Rift and I need this for Brightest. Uh, Deadly Horizon, calibrate long range weapons, pulse rifles, bows, and race rifles in Yomuna. Bonus progress rewarded in Lost Sectors. I literally got this from just doing the campaign because I haven't been doing anything in Yomuna. I literally just stopped playing the campaign. Like, I'm still here. Uh, so if you guys watched the first episode of the campaign, which I'll have it up right now, I literally just completed it. We go through it. You can also see my cam a little because, uh, why not? And then anti cabal sweep, defeat cabal combatants in Vanguard playlist or strikes earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants. Uh, this one might be annoying compare considering, uh, mm, I don't know. I think, I think the best choice for that one would be to go to like, uh, the EDZ. Was it, is he, is he EDZ? Uh, Lake of Shadows, I think, has some. The farm. We can go back to the farm? Oh, I'm guessing. Oh. Oh, okay. That's that's story stuff. Let's not go there. I like the map. This is really cool. Again, if you guys haven't seen the story, they, it, it, we see what happens here. So, uh, the reason I'm in the map, you're going to want to complete stuff like, uh, like this. This would also count towards the challenges. Um, the new raid or not new raid but this raid last wish is also part of that challenge stuff in the tower as well like this this i know banshee has one as well uh this one this one oh you have to give 20 commendations this, that's weird um interesting but weird 
uh but yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below i am really excited for this season this season is gonna be super fun because once we get to the season pass stuff you guys are gonna be uh see why i'm excited so let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later